the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about some meme coins on Solana. Um, we're going to do an update on um, a couple of meme coins that we talked about in the past few days um, that were in the pre sale phase. Okay. Uh, we're also going to talk about this one called Conk, which I really like. This launched less than 24 hours ago. Okay. It's super degen, super low cap. It's very high risk, of course. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about this in a minute. Let's just quickly do an update on. Uh, some of the other ones so think is one we talked about the other day this is actually launching i believe at some point today so keep an eye out for this one um i did give you this in the pre-sale uh, they raised uh about three thousand solana maybe three thousand two hundred solana if i remember correctly um pre-sale ended in the last few days so pretty successful pre-sale from these guys and um you know, I talked to if you haven't seen my previous video on this project, go and check it out because I did go into a little bit more detail of why I was bullish on this particular meme. Um, it does stand out, it's black and white. You know, not every other meme is black and white, so it's got that unique feel to it. It's based on, you know, Apple, I believe, or you know, Steve Jobs, and um, you know, it's uh, the team are said to be a good team that have had uh successful projects in the past okay so this one will be launching at some point today i believe or if not today within the next 24 hours maybe you know by tomorrow this should be live on salada so go and check this one out um think different.io uh so yeah this one will be launching at some point muse with hat is one that i talked about the other day in pre-sale I believe they raised uh, 2000 just under 2300 in the pre-sale um, on Solana, on Pink Cell. Okay, guys, and uh, Muse with Hat is basically a cross between Mew and Whiff, um, which I talked about in my previous video, so go and check that out as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, it did come, when it did launch, it did have a dip. So I, don't, I've, I never understand why people in a fair launch pre-sale sell right at the beginning right because you know it, it basically launches at the price that you got in so you know a lot of time with fair launch i don't understand why these jeets sell you know at the actual launch it doesn't really doesn't make sense but you know the team you know they did raise quite a bit of solana okay and clearly you know they've got you know they're um you know it's, it's going up okay it's trending upwards okay guys so you know just about making a new all-time high this one could go a lot higher and uh, of course you know if you watch my previous videos you'll know why i decided to talk about this particular meme coin okay guys so i'm not talking about the meme coins that are already in the tens and hundreds of millions right i'm talking about the ones that you can get in super early uh, low market cap and by the time they get to the millions if they manage to make it You've made a bunch of money okay guys so that's an update on muse with hat and think uh, so today i want to talk about conk okay guys so conk is the cap version of bonk now the cap meme coins are getting a lot of traction um obviously we've had dogs we know about dogs in crypto right there is the bullish you know narrative for meme coins or has been for a long time uh with you know uh you know uh dogecoin from the beginning right shiba inu uh obviously bonk being a dog coin dog with hat with right or dog coins that have been pumping right but now we see these cat coins pumping like mew um and so on right there's a bunch of these cat coins uh hemuel all right there's, there's this this whole cat narrative um where people want cats to flip dogs you know and you know th this one basically caught my eye okay it caught my eye for the simple fact uh, that that is the branding right so this is conk it's the cap version of bonk okay um if we look at bonk um bonk actually went to just under three billion market cap right at its peak 2.4 billion so just under two and a half billion dollar market cap and it's not over yet in my opinion right it's currently sitting at 1.3 billion okay uh, but bonk is listed on binance it's listed on coinbase it's everywhere right so you know for the simple fact that 
Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people seem to have forgotten about Bonk. You know, everyone's talking about Whiff right now. You know, I believe Bonk's going to have its day. Um, well, it's already had its day, but it's probably going to do a lot higher numbers um, for the simple fact they're on the, you know, top tier exchanges, right? So, you know, Dog Whiff hat, I don't believe Whiff is on any of these top tier exchanges yet, um, but it will, it probably will get there at some point, right? Because it is more or less the leading main coin on Solana, Solana at the moment, right? But Bonk is um bonk basically started the solana bull run and not only that but solana were you know supporting bonk by you know adding bonk to the solana mobile phone and when you bought a solana phone you get some free bonk as well so you know the fact that solana was supporting bonk is a huge narrative for you know from meme coins on solana which is why things like dog with hat were even able to get some traction right because of bonk right so you know with the cat meme coins right i see this you know the potential in it now this is super dj and super low market cap is 40k at the moment down from about 200k um when it came out it went to about you know i can't remember where it went maybe about 25k and then it came down to 5k you know, I bought a little bit, but I left it. And when I woke up this morning, I realized it would pump absolutely crazy um, to about 200k. All right. But I'm still holding this. And, you know, I think, you know, with these type of meme coins, right, you don't even need to put a lot in. Um, because, you know, at the low market cap, like under 50k, right. When I, when I was trying to start recording this video, it was, it was a little bit higher. It was about 70k. But it is coming down at the moment, right? But it's probably going to go up because um, that's what these do. It's, it's volatile, right? They come up just like the initial pump, right? It came up, it came down. And, you know, people started to hear about it or find out about it. And it pumps. Okay, guys. Now, I think over here, it was a community takeover because the dev, the developer, is no longer in the project as far as I'm aware, right? So... This is actually a community takeover. 276 members. It was a lot more before, but it's a community takeover. And so the community, basically what happens is the developer will launch a token and sometimes they will just sell, take a look, take their profit. They're out of the project, right? They build the project. They, you know, they launch the project. They add some liquidity and then they dump, right? Um, and projects... You know, normally with a good branding and, you know, huge potential like this, you get the community that sees it and they think, yo, let's take this over. The dev is gone. We don't have to worry about a dev dumping on us and so on. And they take over the project. They launch a new website. They launch a new Twitter. They launch a new Telegram and so on. So when I woke up this morning, I noticed that Telegram had gone. Uh, well, the Telegram was still there, but they posted another link to the new community Telegram or community takeover Telegram. And um, not only that, obviously, the, the project pumped uh, from its lows um, over here, right? It pumped like 40, 40x, okay? Um, you know, obviously, it's easy to pump like 40, 50x from like a, you know, $5,000 market cap and so on, right? But probably went down to about, yeah, 5,000. You're sitting at... We went to about 270k by the looks of it, right? But anyway, um, there's no developer. There's no, you know, there's nobody that can rug the project at the moment. Um, obviously, there could be bag holders that can, you know, dump the price down. But ultimately, what we see is a, you know, a, a redistribution of, you know, of buyers and sellers, right, in the chart. So, you know, in my opinion, this looks like a good chart. That's potentially bottomed out, and you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be super high risk, you know. So if you've got a high risk tolerance, this will be for you. If you don't, then you know, fair enough. But um, I wanted to share this one because I like the branding, and I see the potential with the branding on this particular project. Also, with it being a cap coin, um, and it's on Solana, the zero taxes, it's cheap to buy, cheap to sell. Um, there's no mint authority, LP is burned, and so on. All right, guys, so, you know, I think that, you know, 
ultimately we have to wait and see how this performs but because it, again it's super high risk right but you know i'm not saying it's going to do anything close to what bonk has done right but you know if this basically goes from here uh, 44k market cap right if this goes to 400k plus you've already made a 10x if it goes to a 4 million market cap you've done 100x right we've seen solana coins go to 40 50 100 million market cap okay so that would be a 1000x if this goes to a 40 million market cap uh 1000x turns a hundred dollars into a hundred thousand dollars right so you know that's the potential for these low cap meme coins with a good brand a good community takeover and if the community keeps growing and becomes as strong as what we've seen after this little comeback overnight right this could be a huge meme coin you just never know okay so you know without risk there is no reward that's why we take chances on these lower cap meme coins and ultimately could die and go to zero so it's not financial advice um you know do your own research all right guys but what i will do is leave the links in the description you can come and join the community and um, it's going to be very volatile okay guys these small moves are they look small on the chart okay but these are big moves right for example you know this little tiny little piece of candle here is basically a that's that's a 30 percent move that you just seen it move just like that all right guys so it's easy for these things to pump my battery is about to die as you can see on the screen so that's really all i've got for you in this video i'm going to leave it there um let me know what you think in the comments guys uh subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications and i'll see you in the next one